Good morning, welcome to Secret London with me, Mark Munro, and today I'm in Charterhouse Square. That's the EC1 district of London. Behind me you've got West Smithfield, the famous Smithfield meat market, and just over to the east, the Barbican and Farringdon station. Charterhouse Square is an interesting place to visit in its own right. There are some incredibly interesting buildings here, the old monastery, the Charterhouse itself. But I'm not interested in what's going on above ground today. What I'm really interested in is what's going on beneath my feet. 40 meters below me, a tunneling excavation has been progressing over the last 10 years. It's still yet to be completed. It's called Cross Rail, or the Queen Elizabeth Line. Now it's a 20 billion pound project, a high speed rail that's gonna transport people from the west of London, way out from Reading, through the center of London, then out to the east of London, up to Shenfield. But if you think I'm gonna talk about the Cross Rail project for 10 minutes in this episode, then you're wrong. When you start digging down into London, you, in essence, start digging down into London's history. And what the Crossrail project ended up unearthing was an insight into London's gruesome 14th century past. And here, beneath my feet, lies a plague pit, full to the brim with the unfortunate victims of those who died from the Black Death. This bubonic epidemic is thought to have originated in Asia over 2,000 years ago and was almost certainly spread by trading ships. When 12 ships from the Black Sea docked in the Sicilian port of Messina, people were met with a horrifying surprise. Most of the sailors were dead and those still alive were gravely ill, covered in black boils that oozed pus and blood. Sicilian authorities hastily ordered the ships out of harbour, but it was too late. The great pestilence had arrived. The Black Death then swept westward across Europe, leaving millions dead in its wake. And then finally, it made its way to the shores of Britain in 1348, and then ravaged the then fledgling population of London. Historical sources had always referred to the existence of a burial ground just outside the old city walls, in and around this area at Charterhouse Square. But what the Crossrail archaeologists discovered confirmed and solved a 660 year old mystery. That yes, indeed, the biggest plague pit in London really does exist here at Charterhouse Square. This is what they found. They're known as the Charterhouse 25. They were uncovered in a drop shaft 5.5 meters wide on the edge of Charterhouse Square. During the time of the Black Death, Charterhouse Square lay outside the walls of the City of London and was considered a distant enough location for burial. This graveyard appeared very orderly. The bodies were buried in neat rows and in two distinct layers, not hastily buried at all. Samples from 12 of the corpses were taken for forensic analysis and traces were indeed found of the bacteria Yersinia pestis, confirming they had all been in contact with the plague at some point. Further underground radar scans have picked up the existence of many, many more graves beneath me. There is in fact estimated to be over 50,000 victims of the Black Death buried right here. Over history, many ghost stories have been embedded in people's psyche about the plague pit here in Charterhouse Square. When there was a school here, apparently the older boys used to force the younger boys to press their ears against the stones on the square. That way they could hear the screams of the poor victims of the plague. So I was thinking, why don't we have a listen ourselves? postscript to this episode, and I think it's a question well worth asking considering the current times we're living in, 
How was the Black Death eradicated? Well, it was never fully eradicated. There were still no vaccines and modern medicine available. But the theory goes like this. The uninfected would stay indoors and those that could made their way to the countryside and less populated areas. They would, in effect, make sure that they didn't come in contact with other people. They were quarantining themselves. Where have we heard that before? Thanks for watching Secret London with me, Mark Munro. Leave any comments down below. Hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the episode. And if you really enjoyed it, why not subscribe? Until next time, stay tuned. Thank you.